So now it's time to start building our first circuit. We're going to build this in our digital world using Tinkercad. You can do this for the real by just using a circuit board and some jumper wires and all the components that I mentioned here in the video. If you would like some help with that, be sure to come see me in a different time after school and I can help you build that for the real. So let's take a look. We're going to do this in a couple different videos, all in the same lesson. The first thing we're going to look at is on our Arduino, we have several jumpers, jumper pins. This is where we plug in different wires in order to connect to our different pieces, like our breadboard and our circuit boards and our LEDs. So first thing we have to do is I'm going to hide this code window, and we're going to look at our components over here. These are our basic components. And sometimes there's so many of these things, the easiest to do is thing to do is to type in the name of it, but our breadboard is right here. So we're going to copy our breadboard in, and you just click it and drag it. Oops. Now, if you get, like I have here, accidentally drawn in some components, what you do is you highlight it, and you come over here and you click delete. So that way we don't get the extra pieces in there. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to drag this around. I just want to make sure I'm not in one of these little circles. I want to click over here, and I can now drag it around, and I can name it. Placing this on the space that you're going to use close to it becomes really important, so that way things kind of get organized in a good way. So I'm going to move this over here a little bit. I'm going to put my, oh, I did it again. Delete. Grab the minus there. I'm going to put my breadboard near my board. So that's the first component that you need. So pause the video and get this project set up so far with just the Arduino and the breadboard. The next thing we're going to add here is our LED. So we're going to search for an LED. And look, there it is. Notice we have a couple different choices. We have an LED RGB that is more complicated than we want. We want a nice, simple LED. And then we actually can choose what color we want. In the real, choosing the color of the LED is important because they have different voltages and have different requirements. But for now, in the uh, virtual world, it doesn't matter. You can choose whatever color you want. I'm going to choose white just because it's easy to see. Now, when we put it on our board, it's really important that we look at where we are putting it. If you notice here, we have numbers across our board. This circuit on our board is connected. So anything that is plugged in here is like tying it into itself. So you notice our LED goes across two of our channels, channel 1 and channel 2. If we plug something else into channel 1, it'll be like soldering it right to the end of this LED. If I put something else in channel 2, it'll be like soldering right to the end of this end of the LED. This end of the LED is called the anode. This end of the LED is called a cathode. Now the reason we call them light LEDs uh, is because they're light emitting diodes. A diode is a switch. It only allows electricity to pass from one side to the other. So we are only going to be able to send electricity from one side to the other. If you don't have your LED properly aligned and properly connected, it will not light up. So that is, pardon the bell, that is a good source of errors, is to find out if your LED is properly connected to your board. So we're going to stop in this video for now, and we'll do the next video. But get your board set up with your LED, and put your LED in channel 1, and try to put it right here on the edge here in J. So that way we can get it all set up for our next step.